here we have today's journey. We're starting off the junction between the Trenton Mersey Canal and the Wardle Canal, which is only a, a few feet long, which goes directly into the Middlewich branch, all the way across to the Shropshire Union, then the Shropshire Union for a short distance to Hurlston Junction, where we're going to meet up with the Langoflin Canal. So here we go, we're leaving the Trent and Mersey Canal and onto the Wardle, followed by the Witherwitch branch. This is the shortest canal in the UK, it's just 154 feet and it's called the Wardle Canal. I'm quickly uh, tying up the boats here with the centre rope only, quick mooring before the lock, just to go up and check to see if there's any boats coming down. I know the lock's full because the boat went up in front of me, so if there's any boats around, I'll let them down first, I'll help them through, and then I'll go into the lock. So let's see what's happening. I thought that the boat that came down in front of me at King's Lock came this way. But I must be confused because the lock chamber is empty. There is a boat waiting to come down. They're there going to help lock me through. So that's a bonus. So I just need to take the boat into the lock and they're going to do the lock for me. How kind is that? So after completing that strenuous journey on the Wardour Canal, we are now on the Middlewich branch. And the Wardour Canal was built by the Trent and Mersey Canal to control the water and the tolls. That's why that little short canal was built, just for controlling and getting their payment. So now to continue my journey, and we're heading west now, I guess, because we were going north. We're going to take the Middlewich branch to the Shropshire Union. It'll probably take me two or three days to get there. As you probably all know, I'm not the fastest boat in the world. 
I remember seeing images of this part of the canal being empty when the breach took place just up around the corner here and uh, yeah half the embankment disappeared into the river below the canal and river trust got on very very quickly really in repairing it and putting it back to good this was a canal that's heavily used and people doing rings I'm pretty sure this is a boat most of you YouTube watchers will know. This is Narrowboat Silver Fox with Colin and Sean from Foxes Afloat. I wondered what all this pink was floating in the canal. I can see now it's poppies. There's the poppies there growing up. Someone's got their opium field going. Yeah. They're everywhere. All this new concrete here and towpath is where the breach took place. And it's just a little further up where it actually happened. It's all been replaced all the way back to here. It looks like on both sides of the canal. Well, I'm going to drop in just up here and more up. I believe this stone block marks the spot from where the breach actually took place. Well, this is where the breach took place. This is where all the water from the canal disappeared into the River Wheelock, along with thousands of tons of embankment soil. I've been moored up here overnight. I'm now on the Middlewich branch, heading towards the Shroppy. I've done the first lock, actually I've done the first two locks, I really sort of guess in effect. I did the Waldor lock, which technically I guess is not on the Middlewich branch. And I've done the first lock on the Middlewich branch. So I've done two locks since I've been on here in two days. Now it's time to go forward. It's a sort of uh, overcast, bit of a dull day it's not windy though let's go cruising
ago is where I pass all boats. It's where I want people to pass me. <laughs> exactly, we go the same. Yeah, you know, take over. I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere anyway. <laughs> no. Well, you're the good part of our side. You get to talk to people when you go slow anyway. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm quite surprised they quiet the flowers this morning. On the right here, it looks like we have some rather nice old stables and they converted into uh, living accommodation. Very nice it is too. Well, good morning. Well, I'm just leaving Church Munsell. We're moored here for 48 hours nearly. It's a 48 hour mooring. I believe there's a pub called the Badger Inn in the village. Some other boaters last night went there to watch the football and they said it's a great pub. I assume it is. I haven't been anywhere near it. I'm continuing my journey this morning along the Middlewich branch, heading towards the Shropshire Union. So let's continue with our journey going that way. We do find that some of these moorings along here, we have picnicking areas. The picnic tables out and places for barbecues. I think they're for sitting disposable barbecues on. Like so. strikes for me again. Boats coming up and down tell me to stay on the boat and they'll do the lock for me. Well, I haven't 
haven't filmed much today. I stopped and got diesel, had a pump out, filled up with water, all the boring stuff. I didn't get the camera out. And now it's rather overcast. It's warm, but it's not the greatest for filming in. And I'm just chugging now up past some moored boats. This is uh, CRT long term moorings here. Just up above uh, Venetian Marina. On the uh, Middle Witch branch, of course. I'm getting very close now to the end of the Middle Witch branch. got one more lock to do. I don't have a book for this area, so sort of memory and uh, put glances at the internet to find out where I'm coming and going. And the sun's starting to come out, so that's got to be good news. It's quite warm now actually. Oh, it's a fairly thick t-shirt on and I am warm. see a boat up in front, sort of, I'm um, not quite sure what they're doing. Hoping they can sort themselves out before I get there. They're 200 yards away yet. We're now approaching the end of the Middlewix branch and we're going to go on to the Shropshire Union proper. We're going to take a left turn after going through this bridge and head towards the Pangolin Canal. Bridgewater Canal Licence. I thought this was a Shropshire Union I'm coming on to. So here it goes then. We're going to go south now on the Shropshire Union Canal. I'm not going to go much further today. I'm going to moor up somewhere just down here. And tomorrow morning I'm going to head off towards the Pancroft Canal. I always wonder what they were for. Was it a forge? Was it a blacksmith? What went on in them? I guess I could probably look it up. But that would take some of the mystic away from it for me. I just like to fantasize perhaps from what went on in them. Good morning everyone. I moored here last night at Bar Bridge. Very pleasant mooring. Canals wide, mooring rings, very nice. The only problem is the internet and the phone signal is quite poor. I was going to stay, stay here for the day, but I've decided to make a move. I'm going to carry on along the Shropshire Union, which I am now on. Not for very far, and I'm going to take a right onto the Langoflin Canal. The junction with the Middlewich branch is just about 100 yards away there, where I've come off of. 
And here's the odd thing. According to the map, that is called Wardle there. Why is the Wardle Canal at the other end of the Middle Witch Branch? Hmm. So, also quite weird is what we know is the Middle Witch Branch. And one of the older maps I was looking at is actually called the Wardle Canal. So was it one time called the Wardle Canal all the way through? I'm not sure. It was on an old map. Perhaps it was misprinted. I don't know. I'd never heard of this before. But that's a possibility, I guess. Anyway, we're going to make a move. Let's get going. So, here we go. I'm not going to be on the Shropshire Union Canal for very long. I think mean, it's about 10 minutes away when I turn off onto the Langoflin. I believe this is uh, quite a popular pub with uh, boaters. The old Barbridge Inn. I didn't try it myself last night. I've been in a pub for ages actually. Another favourite of Keith and Bernadette's. That's from the uh, Tiller people. We're now getting very close to the junction. I can see on the horizon there the Ferrelston Reservoir and the junction's just beyond the reservoir. So let's get there. We just have a few more boats to uh, negotiate and go slow by before we reach the junction. We can see the reservoir there up in the distance. I guess that's probably the pump house there we can see. The water for the reservoir comes from the River Dee and it's actually filled by the canal. The water runs down the canal, that's why the Langoflin Canal is always flowing. Because it fills the reservoir, I believe. There may be other ways of filling it as well today, but that was certainly the way it was originally planned and operated. We have a field of maize here. My American friends would call that corn. But of course, a corn is just a generic term that means grain. So wheat, barley, oats, they are all forms of corn. So we're now passing Perilston Reservoir. This embankment. No idea how much water is there behind it. I'm guessing it's a lot. Across the grass here in the distance, I can just about make out the first lock. Now I'm going to have to see if there are more or less weights on this side to go up there. I can see a lot of boats around. So I'm going to slow down and see what's going on. Before we get to the end of this video, I would love to thank all of my Patreon and PayPal supporters everybody for watching and everybody for subscribing don't forget if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and hit the old bell notification button that way youtube will inform you every time i upload a new video and it seems these days that's the only way you will find out well it looks like the boat's more this side are pointing this way so obviously they're not going up the langoffin 
and it looks like there's just about room for me to move in on the short bit of canal before the first lock. So that's what I'm going to do at the moment. Let's hope that goes right. I mind not making so much noise when I'm trying to record. Well, that didn't actually go quite to plan and I did leave the camera running but I decided not to play that fo footage back to you there would have been too many bleeps so what actually happened was I moved over onto the lock landing there was no boats sitting on the lock landing but the two boats that were moored on the towpath pointing towards me past the junction were actually waiting to go up and they threw a lot of a obscenities at me I quite categorically sort of said back to them how was I to know they were waiting to go up the Dangolan Canal from where they were moored I said why hadn't one of them moved at least across onto the lock landing might have made it a little bit more obvious well of course they had no answer to me just a few more abusive words I said I'm not in any hurry you're welcome to go in front of me I'm not queue jumping so of course I let them both go first and the lock keeper came down and spoke to me and uh, he was he thought it was all quite funny actually um, I told him what was going on and uh, anyway at the end of the day when it came to my turn he helped me all the way up through quite nicely so thank you very much Mr Lock Keeper well that brings me to the end of this video that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching Trevor out